Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel if you haven't been here before. This is going to be our entry to Scout Crafters Short Handled Hammer Contest. I don't have a hammer I really want to shorten and this one's been shortened before. It's a three and a half pound sledge. Handles about 10 inches you can see over here. So I'm going to redo it. It's been epoxied and taped, so we're, we're going to try to save this handle because it's epoxied in here. We're going to try to clean it up. Uh, we're thinking about maybe painting it uh, like it was and leaving this shiny on the side. You know, paint paint these in the bottom and the top and just shine up this side. So we'll we'll shine everything up. Uh, we'll, use, we'll give you just a couple little clips of what we're using for wheels. Because we have a drill in our vise that we put different wheels in for bumping and stuff. Okay, we was going to do this for the fun of it. This is a 10 pound sledge. I got to laugh. But I don't have a handle to fit it. Uh, even this end's too small. I had it in there. But could you imagine picking this up? Oh, I'll tell you. It, <laughs> I'm getting old now. I would not want to lift this unless I had both hands. So it would. That, that's way beyond. That's Maybe someday it's a joke. So back to this. We'll get that out of the picture. Now, we're going to peel the tape off here. We'll show you some of the bad stuff. It's been epoxied. It's been epoxy where it's cracked. We're going to clean this off and see just how good this handle is. Because uh, it's a lot of work. If you look at the head of this, compared to this mall handle... You can see where it took a lot of work. This was an old used handle. Uh, this I cannot tell you what the other half went on. It was a short handled wood splitting ball or something. Or something I saved over the years. So let's talk. More work. I always say that. We'll be back with a couple of clips of as we're doing this. And we will show you a couple of clips of what our drill looks like. With our brush in. We're going to use to clean this up first. The first thing we're actually going to do is get this tape off of here. I don't think it's going with tape no more. Uh, it's It worked good for mechanic use, but this is going to be uh, something a little more presentable. So here we go. Stay tuned for more. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is scrub the head with this. It's probably not going to be a mirrored polish because we're going to paint part of it, but we'll see what it looks like. This is a whatever polycarbon abrasive wheel. We have two of them. We have a nasty one. We have one for doing fine work that we keep nice and clean. So we're not we're not even going to use the wire brush. We're going to go straight to this thing on here. Okay, here we go. This is just a drill. I have videos on all this, how I mount it, and device and stuff. But uh, here we go. Let's get this part done. Okay, we work this back and forth. Like this, and then move over. Kind of imitate a belt sander. You know, we don't go this way on it. it gets, so we kind of work it back and forth so the metal looks like it was done on a belt sander. Because that might be the final finish. I don't think we're going to polish this. Polish, polish. Because it is going to be a work tool. So, a real quick clip of that. It's kind of tricky to get in there. We're saving the handle until last case we hit it. We did take a picture of all the tape on it, so... Let's finish this up. Like I said, we plan on painting it, except the sides right here. So the top, bottom. Can remind you of a Chevy emblem if it was angled. Anyway, back to work. Okay, here we are after the abrasive wheel. See them steep scratches? I think we can get them out with the 36 grit sanding disc. I found this at Harbor Freight. So you can see what it looks like. You've got to be very careful of these. They will leave some deep scratches and you'll take forever to get them out. If we do fail at that, we'll just end up paying the whole thing. So, we're off to try that and see what happens. So, we'll come back and see if we can get rid of those. Uh, the other side has, like a little, was banged on something. I so said, this is a mechanics hammer. I banged on a lot, of, working on a lot of heavy stuff, truck frame or something. So, you don't know what I was hitting the side on, so... We'll see if we get some of them pits out of there. And they could have been in there when we found it. Uh, this is just something we found in the garbage one time. Just ahead of it. We actually redid it. We actually re-flattened these before. We re-beveled this. So it's been redone once. 
But we sand in one direction. If you want to call it sanding. So all the lines went machined. Okay. We'll be back. Okay, I wear leather gloves over these running out. This thing will tear you up. That's just cheap Harbor Freight grinders. Ten dollars. And I don't care if I burn them up or use them up. I use them just for flapper death. You gotta be careful doing this. You don't want to go over and lose your line. So, every once in a while I'd come back and do this. You know, kind of keep it crisp. I don't think we can tell what side's what. We're not going to go for a mirror polish, but we're going back to the abrasive wheel, okay? And then we're going to see what happens. So, we'll be back after the abrasive wheel, which we showed you that earlier on the drill, and see what it looks like, whether we think this is worth trying to polish, or just put that sanded finish back on it. Remember, this is going to be a work hammer, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but it is nice to shine stuff up, though, for the fun of it. You know, like this, it ain't no sense of polishing that. It's going to get beat up. You know. You can tell how dull that is. So that's how you tell, my little tip. See how blurry it is? Even though it's reflective. You know, then get it in light and see what, see that? It's hard to tell you how to do it. You just got to keep that disc level and go different directions. So, we're wasting too much time in these short clips. So we'll be back after the abrasive wheel again in the drill. Okay, we came down on the wheel like this. Not like this, like this. It seems to give a better polish. Okay, now we're going to try another wheel. We'll show you what that is. We'll be right back. Okay. We're going to try this. It might not work too coarse, and then we'll try this. This is a new one. Uh, these come in a little kit. It's a lot finer grit. This is probably going to be a mess. We're going to try this first, see what it looks like. So we're on to that mode, or that step of the project. Okay, we're blowing the camera out. We did the same thing with this wheel. See how we wore it? We, we come like this. If you go like this, it makes weird little swirl looking marks on it. All these pads do. Even that really rough polycarbonate one. Blowing out the camera. That's the finish we want. A sanded finish. Like the factory sanded. Now, we're going to try a different tape technique. We're not going to tell you what it is until we do it and see if it works. Uh, we're going to try some different kind of tape besides masking tape. What we're going to do is we're going to tape it and then spray down in here. We'll tape the handle, of course. We're going to spray down in here with the tape. We're going to over let the tape hang over the edge. We'll come back. We'll let you know if it works. You'll see. Okay, if I show you this, promise me you'll wear eye protection. See? These blades can snap. You should never really do this. But I made a scraper this way. I know I can hold it in my hand. And this epoxy was on here very, very thick, if you could tell before. And this is 36 grit sandpaper. See how rough that paper is? There you go. Just a tip. I said, promise me you will. You could snap it by clamping that in a vice grip. That's a hard steel that snaps. It's brittle. It may be sharp, but it's brittle. So, there's my safety warning. Back to work. Okay, after a while, turn your blade around, because I started forming a burr, so I flipped around, because the little burr is going to be your little hook to scrape. We're almost done. See, we went from epoxy to wood. Same as if you had varnish, only not that amount. There was a lot of fog. You figure, this handle was completely shattered when I repaired it. This is all filled in. It was, it was almost busted in half. So, and I've had a lot of years, and I taped it up just for more strength, but there you go. It's break time. We're going to review what we videoed and see if we forgot anything, and then we'll be back. We're almost done with this project. Okay, this handle's about 10 and a half, has a defect, has a poxy on here, so we're going to shorten up to 8 and a half. Otherwise, it's really not a shortened handle, so we can say that we shortened it, right? 
It'll be all right. It won't hurt. We'll be back. Okay, we all know what this looked like before. Am I copying somebody? And we'll show you what it looks like now, all finished. And we are done. And I always, I did not like this way the handle was before, because I used this like, say you got a uh, brake drum that's kind of froze up, or trying to get a disc brake hub off. I mean, with the big, long handle, uh, you're like, you're swinging like a maniac, when all you gotta do is give some good womps, and this is four pounds, I took a picture of it. And we took pictures of how we used foil tape and laid on here, and then sprayed the paint down in there. And did our best to mask that. Can adjust the light here a little bit. See, there's the flat black in there. Then on the top. So that's our entry. Said so we did cut off this much because it was pretty bad. It had been epoxy and it was epoxied all on the end like that. And was it? It just. To me, it didn't qualify as a short handle hammer. Ten and a half. Now it's eight and a half. And I think that's just right for this. We did chamfer or whatever you want to call the edge or rasp it over. There you go. And thanks for watching. We'll leave you a couple photos of it.